Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the Millennial Movie Member Request. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. First things first, my shirt today. Maybe those were the droids we were looking for. I wonder if they had that thought to themselves. Anyways, if you're new here, hi, I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. That's on Mondays. On Fridays, my top tier patrons, my millennial movie members can pick any movie of any genre of any year and I gotta watch it. Now, if you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, I am watching the 1987 film Broadcast News. This is from millennial movie member Tachi and um, his reasoning this month was because uh, September is actually Hubbin and I's wedding anniversary and actually I think when this goes up... Oh, yesterday. Yesterday would have been, is, was, September 7th is our wedding anniversary. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm confused. Anyways. And uh, if you don't know, you now, you now you're about to know, is that Hubbin, well, and both of us actually used to work in, well, he worked in broadcast news. I was in radio and he was in television. And so anyways, Tachi was like, you know what? I'm going to pick this film. He was like, you react to it on the channel because Hubbin doesn't like to get on camera a lot. He was like, then if you like it, he was like, please share this with Hubbin later. So I'm really excited about it. I don't know if this is going to be like um, on the more serious side of broadcast news, kind of how like the big short was like more real lifey or if this is going to be like a comment. Why are my hands up? I was just holding them here. I wasn't doing anything with them. Um, anyways, or is this going to be more of a comedy making fun of broadcast news and like people on television or in radio and communications, whatever. I don't know who's going to be in it. I don't know what this movie's about, but I am excited to watch it. So no more diddle dallying. Let's get right on into today's millennial movie member request, which is a 1987 broadcast news. Better help, though. I mean, what can you do with yourself if all you can do is look good? That, my friend, is called pretty privilege. Future network anchorman, that's hilarious. You'll never make more than $19,000 a year! Ha ha ha! <laughs> Damn. Boom, roasted. <laughs> a news report. Yeah, that, that seems about right. Okay, so would you please try and be a little bit more precise instead of calling a person something like obsessive? Oh yeah, she's gonna make a great producer. Hey, it's me. Um, it's 30 minutes before you have to meet me in the lobby. Holly Hunter's voice is so distinctive. <laughs> At six o'clock on the Wake Up News, they used the wrong missile graphic. <laughs> we do point out, like, if a graphic is wrong. Why? Why on... Why do that? Are you just taking a moment to, to be silent? <laughs> oh goodness. You wanna talk about it? You okay? <laughs> Quick cry, she's good to go? I can't relate, I got an ugly cry for about an hour and then I gotta sleep it off. He really opened up to you, man. Uh, this were a, uh, a war that was sanctioned by the United States. And the oh, they had something and that's why she was crying? I don't think there'll be any Q&A. That's the shittiest thing you could have said. Well, they say if you can reach even one person, it means something. That's a good little quote. That actually goes on? Yes! I am not tired. My room is right down here. You want to keep talking? Yeah, sure. He's learned a lot of inside scoops. Except I'm no good at what I'm being a success at. What? That doesn't make sense. Oh my good! What J J J Jane! Good lord. And half the time, I don't get the under the news that I'm talking about. Mm, I see the issue. You're not being true to yourself. It's what about the obvious remedy? Reversing things, maybe getting a job at a newspaper. Starting over, why not? You already have the credibility with viewers. But that didn't stop me from sending my audition tapes to the bigger stations and the- Yes! Move up! Climb the ladder! 
So, you're not well-educated, you have almost no experience, and you can't write. Like he for real can't write? I agree with you. You're not qualified, so get qualified. You can insist on being better prepared. You don't have to just leave it with, uh, I don't write, I'm not schooled, I don't understand the news I'm reading, but at least I'm upset about it, folks. She has a great point. Don't talk about it, be about it, my guy. Stop whining. Do something about it. I hated the way you talked to me just now. Get over yourself. And it wasn't just because you were right. What was I telling y'all early about pretty privilege? He ain't never been told no. I feel like I'm slipping. But do people who are actually slipping feel that way? That's a great question, I don't know. Wouldn't this be a great world if insecurity and desperation made us more attractive? Oh, I'd be the hottest motherfucker on this planet. Those audition tapes I sent out, I've been hired by your network for the Washington Bureau, so I'll probably be seeing you at work. Ooh, co-workers! They have her dressed in the most unflattering outfit. I'm not saying she has to wear something skin tight, but everything's oversized and slouchy. And that's coming from me. Y'all know that's all I wear. Do you broadcast tape of the guy in the chair when they turn on the voltage? Sure. Why not? Absolutely. Mm, I feel like that's against broadcast rules now. I don't know what it was like in the 80s, but you could not air that now. In the city, we'll be okay. We're working here. You can stand over in the, uh, uh, play back the last line. I mean, yeah, don't interrupt when we're playing back tape. We're looking for something specific. Doll, I want to shoot the homecoming from a Norman Rockwell book I have in the office. You don't have enough time! Not right a chance! Down. It's real t I have secondhand anxiety and I'm not even working in this place. Jesus, we have three minutes! Why do you do this to me? Is it because I won an award? We're also trying to win an award, bitch! We're making good news! We have a minute and a half. <laughs> it's my responsibility to tell the control room and New York that- Yell it in her ear ain't gonna make go any faster! Oh, yes. You got it. Amazing. This is what this is what it feels like in real time. This is exactly what it feels like. Tonight we're going to be one ramp over higher. Take it. All was there. In other times with other purpose. Woo! My butthole was puckered. <laughs> He did smile. <laughs> D don't tell anyone I did this. Listen, they don't say thank you. Don't they, they don't say good job a lot in the newsroom. So, like, they do live off of these smiles. I know how much I have to learn. If I could, I mean, it, it, I, I would really a lot appreciate it if... Really a lot? <laughs> He's real good at talking. I, I can't help you. Sorry, I'm not here to teach remedial reporting. Boom. Roasted. And it has nothing to do with the fact that I left your room instead of staying there. Okay, that's a low blow. That's rude as hell. No, it's because you're underqualified for the job, you douche. You're gonna have to understand something. This isn't personal. Okay. And that's why I was never in hard news. Because newsrooms are busy and they're loud and people say things really mean sometimes and I cannot separate personal from professional. I could never work in hard news. Ready for this? He says they've been engaging the Santa Anita's regularly. He thinks there's gonna be shooting tonight. For hard news people, that makes them excited. For me, that makes them want to go. Hey, I got okay, no, get dark. No, dark. it's not too dark, just go! Too dark, what do you need? You need a light kit right now in the jungle? Kind of give everything away. Great line at the end, man. It could have been great. It could have been. It was great. Did you get a shot of the boots? Yeah, of course. So then we can cut back to that at the end, right? The importance of B-roll. Importance of B-roll. No, I don't. He happens to deserve the credit. He's right here. I'll speak to you soon. Oh, he's hitting on you. He's hitting on you. Laugh well, so I don't think I'm dying inside, but have so much style that I just said something funny. Okay, that might be a little too much laughter. That's a little too much laughter. A year and a half ago, I made some stupid remark about his hairline. He's never gonna forget it. Oh yeah, don't don't comment on an acre's hairline. Are you dumb?
I got a story. That's the way to get to her heart. Give her a good story. Could you write this? I write for you sometimes. Not because you have to. Oh, jealous. Oh, I love a good newsroom love triangle. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I'm sorry. I've been to your house. Oh, and Aaron was on that 14-day uh, raft trip with us last year. You were with them for 14 days and she doesn't remember you? Embarrassing. My gosh. For a while there, I was attracted to you. Well, wait a minute. That changes everything. <laughs> I see Tom around you a lot. And it's such a small office and I'd like to see him outside of work. Unless there's some reason for you to mind. And when oh my God, I thought this was gonna be something good. I mean, I think about him outside of work sometimes, but I know I don't respect him. So what am I talking about? What am I saying to you? That you actually do kind of like him. That's the man you kind of like! Yeah! He's goofy, do you serious? I love it. I will. And now you're being weird because you realize you kind of like him. I've got to find someone. It's important. Excuse me. Girl, why do you kind of like it? She just, she likes playing hard to get. That's what she likes to do. Maybe you can play and just shut up one of our bases and says, this might be a good time to tap that source of ours. Oh. You might have an angle or something. Jennifer, we need you. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. And y'all now y'all are working together? Oh, she's living her best life. Since Paul is here, he's made out the assignments. Uh, Jennifer at the White House, George at the Pentagon, Martin at State, and uh, we're going to need an anchor since Rorish is on his boat. So we're going to do the whole report this afternoon from here with Tom. What? Oh, he got passed up for Tom. You're, you're not going to use him at all? It's not my choice. What do you mean it's not your choice? You're just absolutely right. And I'm absolutely wrong. Well, you're clearly going with the pretty person, and she's trying to go with the person who has the rapport and has done the reports. Jennifer to try and cover everything without Tom having to ask additional questions. Okay, Bobby says we Did you hear what I just said? Do you have that? Take a breath. Because it's very imperative that he does, he does not come up with any of his own questions. Oh, man. Part of me wants Tom to do well just because at the end of the day it's important that this piece does well because it's big news. But I also want him to crash and burn because he doesn't deserve it. Bit to the left. Tom, can you hear me? Tom? Tom! 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 Damn it! He can't hear me! I told you if there was one thing... I can hear you. I was just teasing. Oh. My. God. Oh. My. God. Now is not the time, Tom. We have George President Will at the President Pentagon. President flew back to the White House, according to his aides, George. to better monitor the situation. George Well is at the Pentagon and reports that the attack... And that is another reason why I cannot do hard news. Because if I'm talking and they're giving me instructions on what to say, I don't think I could... I don't think I could do it. She says as she talks over movie dialogue. But, like, it's not serious. It's not hard news. You know what I mean? Get it. Also, Tom should say the F-14 is one of the hardest planes to fly. And they're nicknamed Tomcats. Thank said you. Gaddafi, this is... See, he deserved to be the one to anchor this. I think you're right. In the 70s, uh, the first crap had a number planes. of crashes. There was trouble with him in the early days, back in the 70s. Thank you, George. Wow, what a great team. What a great team. In the summer of 1981, two Libyan jets suddenly attacked two American F-14s flying a routine over the Gulf of Sidra. Today they Gaddafi the claimed then, as he does plane. now, that the Gulf is... See, I couldn't do that. We're saying hard words, hard news, and I just couldn't do it. Do you know you have a hit from one of those screens inside your cockpit, or can you actually good. see your missile strike the other plane with your eye? That's good. Oh, that's weird, but also kind of flirty. I kind of dig it because news, because anger. <laughs> No! You missed him! We only have ten minutes left. How can you talk to me about parking problems? No! Not your try! You'll do it! Do it! Or I'll fry your fat ass Estelle! Goodbye! I had no idea. 
idea she was this good. It don't be like that. See, that's what I was saying. Like, I could not take that personal. Attack. I'm Tom Grunick, reporting from Washington. Good afternoon. Animation. Thanks, everybody. Let me tell you something. If they don't have the spiciest, nerdy, broadcast news sex scene later in this movie, I'm going to be so disappointed. Why did I think she was going to be waiting for him in some secluded area? Oh, God. Okay. You know, the second before I needed it, there was like a rhythm we got into. It was like great sex. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Really? It was, <laughs> it was good. You're calling it. Man, I don't know who I want her to end up with more. In the middle of all of this, I started to think about the one thing that makes me feel really good and makes immediate sense, and it's you. <gasps> okay, that's sweet. Okay. Ah! Except I would give anything if you were two people. So I could call up the one who's my friend and tell her about the one that I like so much. Mmm, I see. Good night. Good night. Oh! Oh! I can't tell if he means it or if it's just because he's a little drunk. I don't know. Take that uh, over to 15th and then straight down Vermont and we should bypass Thomas Circle that way. Are you telling a taxi driver how to get there? This is literally his, literally his job. Inside. You know, I'll just go on and join the gang, and you two go on. Well, the gang's like. Go oh my god! Oh my god! I wasn't ready. Jennifer, you want to go another burger? Yeah. Hey, I know how to have a burger by myself. I was gonna say that's exactly what I do. I'm like, nah, I want some alone time. Greatest car and the greatest driver <laughs> in all of Washington. A confused. I'm not. <gasps> oh, they. They for sure have a sexy time. <laughs> well, this was not the sex scene I wanted. This was not it. Who do you think? George Well or Jennifer? Jennifer. Send Jennifer out there. She would do great. No other reason. <clears throat> I was going to ask, but I think I'm. I'm a little intimidated with you. Oh. You should be. You should be. And that rule was? Never to pretend to know more than I did. Isn't that how you got the job? Because you don't know what you're doing? You know what? I, you know what? A little bit of slap and tickle always solves a bad attitude. Oh, he's walking away. Sad. Duh! So you like me, huh? I like you as much as I can like anyone who thinks I'm an asshole. <laughs> but also, you need to tell her that you had sex with Jennifer. I'm sorry. I promised myself I wasn't going to cry. Girl, let it out. This is a lot. Even Tom's crying? Oh, he's going to win an Emmy for this story. Body, South, nice guys. work. I, I gotta get a crew off the clock. I mean, nobody has said anything about it, so that's stressful. How are you? Oh, hi. I was just writing you a note. Uh, what do you say we take a walk? Is he gonna fire Aaron? Oh, this is not going well. Is he getting notes from Tom? What a blow to the ego. You were smoking there toward the end. The pointers were great. I'll study the tape. Are they gonna become BFFs? I hope so. If it gets a little dull before 11, you'll drop by the studio. I'm not sure I'll be able to. Yeah, if not, I'll have the tape. I'll wait for you afterwards at my house, okay? Okay, great. Well, don't count on it. What if she's busy? 
on her not date. You were all wrinkled and schmutzy. I've got shoulders. Ah! I can't tell you how many times I'd had to do that for Hubbin. Not take out my shoulder pads and put them in his jacket. But, you know, fix his little jacket and his little collar and his tie. If he doesn't see me soon, we're not supposed to be together. I also make stupid little deals with myself like that. The State Department's... Just how noticeable is this? Breakdown at huh? Was a swift he is sweating. I also sweat when I'm nervous. But I don't think I sweat this bad. 120 people were reported injured, at least 22 people dead. Commercial. I wish I were one of them. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hope that didn't actually air. Oh my God, no, you have to dump it out. You have to dump it out. I would simply turn around and throw away the condoms in the trash can. Get it to it. Why are you touching her titty? She didn't even kiss you back. She didn't even kiss you back. Don't touch her boob yet. That's weird. <laughs> At least kiss me when you do that. Thank you. Thank you. That was weird. Energy. I've been wondering what it'd be like to be inside all that energy. Inside all that energy, huh? Huh? Oh shit, I'm a creep. What? I forgot all about Aaron. I promised I'd stop by and see how he did. Girl, you are th you are 30 seconds away from getting dicked down. I need you to focus. What do you want more? And I'm chipper because you finally showed up. I'm gonna cook for us. You need to figure out the situation, ship girl. You cannot lead him along while trying to get with Tom. I may be in love with him. Whoa, oh, we just dropping that off after the worst anchoring day ever. I'm not kidding! Get out of here! Oh. You go to hell! Come on. Sit down. No. Let me tell you something. You ain't gonna holler like that at me. And then tell me to sit down. I think I'm gonna sit down. Let me tell you where you can sit. Here. He personifies everything that you've been fighting against. I mean, it is true. And I'm in love with you. Girl, how you gonna make that face when you just told him that you were in love with Tom? Y'all both sound crazy. Although I am a little worried about how he had that whole date rape story and then he yelled at her and the lot. I don't know. Something's not sitting right with me in this guy right now. I'm not sure. It, it seems like he had sort of a, a mishap on the news. Sort of. <laughs> I know. I taped it. He taped it to make fun of him. He had a chance to think and he canceled. I can't. I can't breathe. We got two people in the same house experiencing the same thing about two different people. Well, Jane, thanks for stopping by. What? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Good night. You're gonna for you didn't force her, but you're gonna insist she stay because you're fragile. And then the minute that he found that you find out that he canceled on her, you're like, okay, bye. No. Paul can me. Oh, so it's starting now. Oh my God, I bet Aaron gets let go, and this is not gonna go well. Um, yeah, Paul wants to see you. Ain't no way Paul's gonna fire Tom. There's no way. Uh, tell them I'm on my way in. It's Paul. Is the manager gonna get let go? I'm leaving. No matter who they replace me with here, they were gonna make me leave anyway. The fact that it's you takes some of this thing out of Oh, wow. She's gonna be news director? That's exciting. But she doesn't know about Tom yet. They told me they'd keep me. Because they could plug me into any story and my salary was in line. The cost-efficient reporter. 
So I quit. And that's why newsrooms are going down the drain so quickly nowadays. Do they owe you any time off? You should take a vacation. 14 weeks. <laughs> 14 weeks? And find out how we are together away from this. I love that idea. Find out if it's for real or if it's just work related. Or is it just because work, you know? And my youngest son will say something and I will tell him it's not nice to make fun of single fat ladies. He's not being funny? Oh, he was really being hurtful. Do you know how Tom had tears in his eyes in that interview he did with that girl? Ask yourself how we were able to see that when he only had one camera and it was pointed at the girl during the entire interview. And we had one camera crew. What, then it was staged? Is that what he's hitting at? Oh, it's amazing. Wow. Wow. Boo. That dude really said, hold on, give me a minute, and then made himself cry. <gasps> in a new sense, that's big wrong, but also in a personal sense, like, I wish I could make myself cry. You know what I mean? See, they just have her dressed weird. They're, she's dressed like, uh, like B. Arthur from the Golden Girls. Slouchy, oversized. Oh, uh, is that the girl he was with at the beginning of the movie? And look! Oh, uh, dude had a kid! Curliest headed kid I've ever seen. I'm gonna take it. Oh, Jay, that. What a job. A great surprise. I didn't think we had a chance. You're gonna take managing editor and work with him? You know what? Let's. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, let me tell you something, and I'm gonna say it. This is probably one of the most realistic endings to a movie I've ever seen. You know, we all, li listen, y'all know I'm a hoe for a good love story, a little happy ending, and everybody gets everything they ever wanted and more, right? Of course. And at first, like, I had to stop myself right there at the end from being like, she didn't end up with either of them, but like, that's such a realistic ending for their, them to, you know, have these, all these different, you know, multiple relationships where it's like on again, off again, like, I don't know what we're doing, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, odds are, you know, it could still be a happy ending to a film without any of the main characters ending up together. Also, also, um, Holly Hunter with helmet hair, no thanks. Not, not a cute look, to be honest. But anyways... So this movie is actually, you know what? I wasn't sure how it was going to portray broadcast news. And I feel like it was pretty accurate. I mean, of course, there's a lot more that goes on now. But when he said we got to lay off 20 people in the newsroom, there ain't 20 people working in the newsroom these days. There might be 10. And I guarantee you three of them's going to be acres. Two of them's going to be night side reporters. Like, if you're lucky, if you have two night side reporters whatever that is neither here nor there but i really enjoyed this movie i love holly hunter i love holly hunter and i feel like she's such a good actress and why have i only seen her in like two or three films i feel like she deserves more airtime and i don't know if i mean that it's like she should have been in more movies or if that means like i want to see more holly hunter Maybe both are true. Anyways, broadcast news. A lot of fun. I guessed way wrong when dude did the little date rape thing. And then he was like forceful. Not for, you know, he yelled in the parking lot. I was like, oh no, she's going to go back to his house. And like his piece was actually foreshadowing his true intentions and his true personality. Like he has everybody faked because he's good looking and articulate, whatever. Anyway, so my brain took that a really morbid route, but, but you can also see how I got there. Anyways, well, you know what? I'm going to say, I think I might have Blake watch this movie tonight with me. Honestly, honestly, I could rewatch it again tomorrow and I very well might because I think Hubbin would really like this movie. And so I think we're going to rewatch it. And for that reason, and I love Holly Hunter. I love Albert Brooks. Um, 
I've only seen him in one thing. Mm, two things? Defending Your Life for sure. And I know he's the voice of Marlin from Finding Nemo. I can't remember if he's been in anything else. Anyways, so really enjoyed that together. Holly Hunter just has amazing chemistry with all of her co-stars. Like, in every movie, she has been the exact same. And I love that. Like, you know, consistency. Love that. Anyways, five out of five stars for broadcast news. Tachi, thank you so much for getting me to watch this movie. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around. Coming up, Monday is going to be Pirates of the Caribbean 2. I think it has a longer title than that, but that's what I'm watching. X-Men Apocalypse is on the way. Back to school is coming up for you, too. Uh, so be sure to like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTube-verse. And I'll see you right back here on Monday. Bye.